In today's NBC5 responds after many delays, a suburban man's home renovation project is a wreck. Yeah, the goal was to make his routine smoother. He relies on a wheelchair, but that obvious challenge was not the hardest part here. Lisa Parker picks up our story. Patrick and Marion, for more than a decade, our Southwest Suburban viewer says he knew he was in for a health battle. He faced his diagnosis with practicality, saving up for the renovations that would ultimately help his mobility. Saving up that money turned out to be the least of his worries. The front door is going to be covered. When we first met, and the sidewalk will go. At his home here in LaGrange Highlands, the show and tell for Nolan Reed was a frustrating one. Rams here. Hard enough to navigate life in a wheelchair, even harder in a house that's not accessible. But Nolan saved up. As his MS-related disease progressed, he had plans, architectural drawings for the renovation that would help his increasing reliance on these wheels. The reason for the upgrades are one to get in and out of the car easier. Nolan says he was doing his best to adapt, never predicting that his biggest obstacle would be the county in which he lives. Not getting answers from Cook County. For six months last year, Nolan says the county stood in his way. I couldn't get anything to move forward. Requiring him to apply for a special permit for a part of his yard he wasn't changing at all. I was stuck in that no man's land. His calls and emails unanswered months on end tested his patience, Nolan says, but not his resolve which is when he reached out to NBC5 Responds. Someone called from NBC and said, is there a problem? And then immediately I got calls and they were trying to be very helpful. When we inquired why this project, drawn by an architect and corrected three times at the county's request, was still subject to months of delay, Cook County then green-lighted Nolan's project. It's so much more convenient. A look at the way he entered his garage before and the way he enters now. It's a breeze. No comparison. There was no, no overhang at all. These new changes transformative yeah. to both this house where he and his family have lived for 31 years and to his life. People telling me it looks like a new house. So that now new looking home is in unincorporated LaGrange Highlands, which explains the reliance on the county here. A spokesperson for Cook County handled our questions, our first round of questions last fall, helped move along this process without specifying why Nolan's emails and calls weren't answered more timely. She did say a zoning hold was the ultimate obstacle here, which was finally cleared up last December. If you have a story for NBC5 Response, find us via NBC Chicago. And, you know, we said, to him should there be a special process for somebody who is reliant on a wheelchair and he didn't want any special treatment mm. he just wanted treatment he just wanted the line to move thank you Lisa. nice work Lisa. you're welcome thank you very much sure. seeing that done